Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how I tack up for a show jumping clinic or lesson. It's completely different to what I tack up for when I'm actually competing in show jumping. So obviously when you're going to a lesson or a clinic you want your horse to look really nice as if you are going to a show jumping competition. And I do like to put oil on their hooves like at least three times a week so that because it's summer now and his hooves don't get all dried up and chip away and all that. In this next clip you see I'm spraying his tail. I like to spray his mane and tail with Shoshin and then his body with silicone because silicone can actually phase up and damage their mane and tail. So normally I use my Lemuel jump cut saddle blankets for show jumping. So here I'm showing you this sheepskin gel pad I use for my dressage saddle just because the gel pad stops like it's shock absorbing and I normally you I have another gel pad, just gel pad, no sheepskin for my jump saddle but I didn't have it here today just so that when I'm jumping it shock absorbs it and it doesn't hurt or damage him. I don't use this one for my jump saddle because it makes my jump saddle not fit him. So the cover that is on my jump saddle, I never ever take it off unless I am competing or I'm at a lesson or show jumping clinic. So right here I'm showing you which boots I normally use for show jumping competition or clinic or whatever but my horse currently has a little bit of a scab on his leg and these boots end up rubbing it. So at the moment I am using my Lemuel Plum Pro Sport boots because they don't rub it at all and it's more comfortable until his leg heals over a little bit more. And then I'll be going back to his normal jumping boots after it heals. So this is my jumping bridle. The bit is obviously different than my dressage bridle. I normally put an air bonnet on him too before we start or when we start competing because the flies get so bad up here and it's just basically impossible for him to cope with that, being a thoroughbred and all. So in the next clip I've been teaching him to jump on a loose rein so he figures himself out and where his feet are more and he can just sort himself out. I find it so good to teach them so that basically they know where their feet are and they don't have to always rely on the rider to sort that out.